Over the next few videos, we're going to be talking about lighting and colors. But before we get into the technical side of it, I wanted to start by talking about why colors are so important and the different meanings they can convey and how they all relate to each other. So I have some slides here that were created by a guy named Luke McElroy, who really helped me understand all of these different things about colors and understand why it's so important to put a lot of effort into getting colors that convey the right meaning. So this chart right here has all of the different basic color categories, and each one is associated with a number of emotions or feelings, both positive and negative. So if you pay attention to the lyrics of a lot of songs, you'll see that they tend to have themes that match one or more of the categories that are here. So for example, a song that's really upbeat and energetic and focuses on joy and happiness and fun and good things like that will probably be up here somewhere in the yellowish area, the orangish area, where the meaning of the color matches the theme of the song. A song that's a little bit quieter or slower or meditative might be down here in the bluish, purplish area. These colors aren't precise just because a song deals with Safety, for example, doesn't mean it needs to be over on this side of the color wheel. But generally speaking, people will associate these colors with these feelings. And so if you match the song with a background that has these colors and with a lighting design that has these colors, it will tend to just feel like the right match with the song. So I think this chart is pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to talk about it too much, but I will leave a link to this slide and the next couple ones that I have in the description of this video. So if you wanna save it for future reference, just go ahead and click that link and you'll get access to all of this. So another thing to take into consideration when designing lighting scenes is how the colors complement one another. Just because you found a color that you think matches the theme of the song doesn't mean it's actually gonna look good. And typically the best way to make something look better is to have more than one color. So we've got another color wheel right here that shows complementary colors. So you can see this in a lot of logos and graphics that other companies have designed. For example, the Visa logo uses a complementary color scheme. So a complementary color design is when you have exactly two colors, and those colors are opposite from each other on a color wheel, like the one shown here. So for example, we might have red-orange and blue-green in a given color design. These colors are naturally going to look good together because they're opposites of each other. An example of this is the Visa logo where you see the bluish purple colors complemented by the yellow orange color. So on the color wheel over here, we have the blue purple right across from the yellow orange. And if you look at these two categories of colors, you'll see it matches what Visa has in their logo. Same with Stranger Things where they have a blue and an orange color design. You'll see a lot of these different combinations. Purple and yellow is a popular one. If you pay attention to pretty much any logo out there that makes use of colors, you'll start to see this pattern a lot, where two colors in one design tend to be complementary to each other. Another popular one is triad. It's basically the same thing as complementary, but with three colors. So you can see on the same color wheel over here, a color design is triad if it creates a perfect triangle between three different colors. A popular example of this is the Burger King logo. And if you watch for it, you'll see that a lot of designs that use three colors we'll use this same pattern. Another popular one is analogous, where all of the colors are very similar to each other, but not identical. So you can see on the color wheel here that a color design like this might use something from blue-green to yellow-orange. None of these colors are gonna be complementary to each other, but they're close enough to each other that if used properly, it can still look good. You have to be really careful with this type of design because it's also easy to make things look more like they're clashing than that they actually go together. So if you're gonna do this, you have to be very careful that it's gonna turn out good and that the colors are gonna work well with each other rather than fighting each other. And lastly, we have split complementary, which again is another one that can be difficult to use well, but if done properly, can turn out really nice. Firefox is an example of this 
where they're using the orange and yellow, kind of like the analogous one that we just looked at. But then they're also using blue purple or even a little bit of a lighter blue in their logo as well. Typically when you're designing lights or even when you're looking at motion backgrounds, you'll find that most of them are gonna follow one of these four patterns. And when you're designing lights to match those backgrounds, you really should be doing the same thing.